In this two-part video, we'll explore the population of the Earth using one of MATLAB's built-in ODE solvers, ODE45. The first video will be more of a qualitative analysis using face portraits and anticipated solutions. The next video will actually solve the ODE numerically. This ODE describes the population of the Earth over time. It's a function of two positive parameters, A and B, which represent the birth and death rates, respectively. From inspecting the ODE, we can see that it's a first-order ODE because the highest derivative it has is the dp dt term, which is a first derivative. The presence of the p squared here makes it nonlinear. The equation looks like an inverted parabola because we have a negative constant times p squared, so this should be reflected in the phase portrait. Before we do any coding, it's always a good idea to hand draw the face portrait and anticipated solution so we can get a rudimentary understanding of what the numerical solution should look like. Part A wants us to find the steady state population. We'll obtain the steady state population in the process of generating the face portrait and anticipated solution. Recall that the steady state is just a fancy word for the stable fixed point. Without further ado, let's draw the face portrait and anticipated solution. Here we have the ODE, initial condition, and axes for our face portrait and anticipated solution. To sketch the face portrait, we first need to find the fixed points. We do so by setting the derivative equal to zero and solving for p. When we set dp dt to 0, we get two fixed points, 0 and a over b. I connected the two fixed points with an inverted parabola since the ODE structurally resembles one. Now we need to classify the fixed points. The portion from 0 to a over b is positive, so we draw a right arrow. If we extrapolate the plot into the negative p region, the derivative will be 0, so we draw a left arrow in the region from negative infinity to 0. We also draw a left pointing arrow in the region from a over b onward since the derivative is also 0 within that region as well. The arrows converge to the fixed point at a over b, so a over b is our stable fixed point. This means a over b is the steady state value. Over time, the population of the Earth will trend away from zero and towards A over B. That's pretty encouraging. If zero was the steady state value, that would be rather bleak. Now we can draw the anticipated solution. The initial global population is some positive number, so we start from there and trend towards the steady state value of A over B. We can see that if A increases, the fixed point gets pushed farther and farther to the right on the phase portrait. This means the steady state value will also increase. Physically, this makes sense because we increase the birth rate, so naturally the population rises as well. On the other hand, as we increase B, the fixed point slides to the left on the face portrait, and the population will stabilize to some lower steady state value. This makes sense because an increase in B, the death rate, lowers the population. Hopefully, we'll get similar looking results when we solve the ODE numerically in the next video. See you next time.